Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Mason African Motives, still working on engineering science and uh, and four. Yeah, that's engineering science and four. So we are going to be actually focusing on the question seven, which is stress, strain, and Young's modulus of elasticity, which is uh, on question number seven from one of the question papers that I'm having. So uh, guys, if you are new, you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Mason African Motives. Okay, so number seven, we are given that a square bar. So take note, guys, this is a square, a square, which means all sides are equal. Of sides, 120 millimeters and length, 0.95 meters, is actually loaded on the square sides by a force of 300 kilonewton, Young's modulus of elasticity of the material of, of the bar is 110 giga pascal so this is uh, in pascals okay calculate the stress of the bar okay so let's just put this um into consideration uh we've got a um, this is a square so which means the sides are equal guys something like this that's your square all right so the sides are equal this is 120 millimeters so in meters you just divide by 1000 so 120 millimeters divided by 1000 milli you're going to obtain 0 0.12 so this is 0 0.12 in meters 0 0.12 in meters okay so that's a rectangle uh, a square so we are going to obtain the area and remember that area of a square is side times side or side squared all right from this and we are given the length of it which is 0 0.95 so we are given 0 0.95 meters and we are given the force which is 300 kilonewtons so the force is 300 kilonewtons okay so just write that kilo i'm going to talk about it remember kilo is 10 to the power 3 and we are given the young's modulus of elasticity which is 110 giga remember this one is e which is 110 giga pascal so remember giga is 10 to the power 9 all right so the first question is calculate the following 7.11 the stress in the bar okay so we need the stress in the bar so what's the formula for stress guys um 7.11 so you know that stress is like this it's force over area all right so we need to find area and area we are talking about the area of this which is area of a square that is side squared so area is side squared which is 0 0.12 squared so you're going to have 0 0.12 squared or 0 0.12 times 0 0.12 depending with the way that you want to write it okay so that's your area so you can evaluate it or you can just sim uh, leave it like that so you're going to have our stress in this case as the force so remember you've got 300 kilo newton which is times 10 to the power 3 so it's going to be 300 times 10 to the power of 3 over the area which is 0 0.12 times 0 0.12 or just 0 0.12 squared all right so you are going to obtain this decimal guys uh that's 2 uh, 0, 8, uh this is 3 i mean 5 of them 3 3 3 3 3 comma uh, 3 3 something like that this is what you're going to obtain uh, which is uh, in pascals so you can just write this in mega pascal just divide by 6 or you're going to move uh, 6 commas 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's going to be 20 comma 8 uh, 3 3 yeah just like that mega pascal so you just divide by by 1 million or by 10 to the power 6 so that you can achieve mega or just move three six commas to the left move one two three four five six so there are so many ways to convert to mega pascals from pascals to mega pascals okay so that was uh the stress guys uh, from this part let's move on to another part which is the total extension of the bar all right so according to the information that we have here guys um i want you to see this formula most of you uh you avoid using it but uh, we can actually use this formula here 
okay it's not well written here guys here this is the formula that i want you to take but it's not well presented on your formula sheet there so i'm gonna explain it in a proper way this is not how it's supposed to be written that that x is like something else there guys it's, it's like this it's like this this is the young's modulus which is equal to f that's the original length over a x so it's a that x is something yeah something like that it's not like the way that is like something is like it's not part of the formula it's part of this x is part of the formula and this x is the one that represents the extension that's the extension which is the change in length remember the extension is the change in length that is your x so you're just going to make this to be the subject so we can cross multiply that's e a x is equal to f l then to remain with x you divide by e a so your x is going to be f l over e a or a e so like this so this is what you're going to have so you can substitute guys on our formula to find x which is this x is the one that we are referring as the change in length okay so the force um we have got the force there that's remember 300 kilo that's 300 times 10 to the power 3 that's 300 kilo times the length this is the length not the side but this length is 0 0.95 so you give it 0 0.95 over the Young's modulus, which is 110 giga, which is times 10 to the power 9. So it's 110 times 10 to the power of 9 times area. The area, remember, is the one that you obtained from side squared, which was 0 0.12 times 0 0.12. So you can write it as 0 0.12 times 0 0.12, or you can write it as 0 0.12 squared. That's your area. Okay, so... You can simplify this uh, properly from your calculator you're going to obtain this decimal guys 1,799242 yeah something like that times 10 to the power minus 4 all right which can you can round off which can be 1 comma uh, 799 times 10 to the power minus 9 uh, this is the change in length or x and is supposed to be in meters okay so the change length in meter so that's supposed to be in meters for the change in what for the change in length like uh, this part i think it's clear okay, let's see another question which is uh, on 7.2 where we are given that the diameter of a steel cable of a lift is um, 24.4 millimeters we are back again to the Young's modulus of elasticity, guys, of steel. The cable is that one meters and so forth. Okay, so let's just take our information. But this is just one and the same thing, just like the previous question, if you are to take note here. Um, we are given the diameter. This time we are given the diameter. All right, so the diameter is uh, 24,4 millimeters, which is uh, in meters you divide by 1000 which is going to be 0 0.0244 meters so you now you have the diameter the young's modulus of elasticity which is your e so this is your e which is 209 gigapascal all right 209 gigapascal there's a g there and the cable is that is the length of the cable so given the length of the cable 31 meters long when the lift is at the ground okay so this is at the ground take note this is a diameter of a lift okay when the lift is at the ground calculate the extension of the cable of a mass loaded with the lift okay so take note this lift is going upwards so there's something to do with the gravitational acceleration there so you're given the mass of the lift which is 0 0.88 uh, 0 tons and in kgs multiply by 1000 you're going to obtain 880 kgs so that's the mass there all right so due to the the acceleration gravitational acceleration both this is a lift which is going upwards so we shall have a g we shall obtain force from the, the weight of the component which is the weight which is uh, the force that mass times g which is the mass 880 times g which is 9.8 all right so if you multiply this you're going to obtain 8624 newtons so this is your force all right anyways uh let's hear the question guys i'm just i was just uh talking about this the question is 
calculate the extension of the cable cut the extension all right so if you are to cross check here this is the formula that we use to calculate the extension and we still have the same properties or the same thing so we can actually use this same formula to calculate our extension so when we made the subject there we ended up with uh, something like this on the extension uh, it was fl over ea but in this case uh, we do not have the area the force is there so the force is this one which is 8624 so we've got 8624 times the length okay the length that's 31 meters over e which is uh, 209 giga jesus 209 times 10 to the power 9 then we need the area here so the area we do not have so we're going to obtain the area because it's a say it's a steel so we've got the diameter so which means it's a circular steel so our area remember it's pi d squared over 4 so it's going to be pi times d squared which is your d 0 0.0244 squared over 4 all right so uh when you multiply this you are going to obtain uh that's zero comma one guys uh you just something like four comma there's a big decimal and let's just let me just write four comma six seven six times ten to the power minus four as a rounded figure so this is your area here so this is what you're going to write here four comma six seven six times 10 to the power minus 4 like this all right so you can just divide this from your calculator you are going to obtain 2,74 times 10 to the power minus 3 which is in meters so that's your change in length or your x so that's it guys sorry for the for the this background guys i was just trying to push something here but yo oh, uh i was like i can't stop this video so uh, guys okay that's it but sorry for that we are going to uh, look for a calmer uh, time to work on more classes guys but as you can see we're just forcing times because because of time guys but that's it guys from Amazon african motives please uh we are very sorry for this uh, background noise that we are having but that's it guys from Amazon african motives till we meet again